everybody likes cookies. But instead of just going to the store and buying some, why not go that extra mile and show someone you really care by making your own? The upcoming holidays, birthdays, retirements, parties, it doesn't matter what the occasion is, you can go and make your own cookies and it's easier than you think. For the WatchMojo.com butterscotch cookies, you will need one cup softened butter, three quarters of a cup of tightly packed brown sugar, half a cup of granulated sugar, two large eggs, one tablespoon vanilla extract, two and a half cups of all purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and one bag of butterscotch chips. The rest is pretty basic. All you need is a good mixing bowl, a wooden spoon, a sheet for your cookies, and some mitts. Preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. First, combine your butter and sugars. This is the base of your cookies. Start mixing it until it becomes smooth. Next up, we'll add the wet ingredients. Two eggs and one tablespoon of vanilla. We keep mixing. I'm gonna get all these little lumpy spots out. Note, you could probably use an electric mixer as well, or you could just earn it. Now we're ready to add the rest of the white powdered ingredients. The flour, the baking soda, the salt, and the baking powder. And now we have the basis of what will be the cookie dough. The stage marks the coming together in perfect harmony of the wet and dry ingredients of the cookie. Stir in your butterscotch by hand. You can also add chocolate chips if you like. A little bit more festive, you can get the colorful chocolate chips. Possibilities are endless. Drop your cookies onto an ungreased cookie sheet, about two inches apart, using a tablespoon, your trusty tablespoon as a guide. You can also form your cookies a little bit so that they're not just in a lump. Six is a good number to put on a sheet. You can do more than one sheet at a time if you like, if you have a couple rows in your oven. You bake for 10 to 12 minutes each time. And now we wait. Hello, cookies. Okay, so don't be alarmed if they're still a little bit mushy when you get them out. You have to let the cookies stand for a little bit so they can, they can become firm enough to be eaten. And here's where all your hard work pays off, when it's time to taste the cookie. Mmm. That's some good work. Good work. 